Hey everyone and welcome back to Monkey Vloggers. I've got more Disney news coming at you today in this video. I'm gonna be talking about new things coming to the parks. I don't know if you heard the rumor, but the Genie service is finally coming. And more information coming for the Disney cruises. So let's get to it. A few years back at D23, Disney announced the Genie service, which would be coming to the Disneyland Resort and to Walt Disney World Florida. So we finally have more information that was just released about the Genie services, Genie Plus, and Lightning Lanes. So what is it? In your current Disneyland app and My Experience apps, the Genie will be a new little AI feature added to make your days at the parks a little more special. With the Genie, you will be able to make an itinerary of things that you'd like to do throughout the day, and it'll give you wait times, maybe, hey, right now's a good time to go, maybe we should wait a little bit. It sounds super awesome. A little extra help to get a little more ma Disney magic in your days. So you can pick your favorites and put them on your tip board. With that, you can quickly open your phone, not need to search around for it. You can find the rides you want, see current wait times and future prediction wait times that'll help you get that experience just a little more magical. You will also, of course, have the option to look at virtual queues and join them, make dining and experience reservations, mobile order, and get a little help from a virtual assistant all in one place. This sounds super awesome. I'm really excited to see how this plays out in our phones. On top of the regular Genie service, which is complimentary with your app, they will also be offering the Genie Plus service. In Walt Disney World, it'll be $15 a day, and at Disneyland Resort, it'll be $20 a day. With this, you'll be able to choose your next available arrival window to use the Lightning Lane entrance at certain rides. Now, this is very similar to Fast Pass or Max Pass if you had either one of those, but this service will be paid day to day and there are currently no options to add it to Magic Keys. But another little fun thing you get with this is that you will be able to listen to soundtracks from the park, which I'm a little curious about because if you've ever used the Disney Play app, they have that feature. So I'm a little curious how this is a little bit of an added benefit, but I still think it's really awesome. And you will get the photo passes for your day when purchasing the Genie Plus. For California, we will only get the regular photo pass and magic shots. In Walt Disney World, they're gonna be adding a little bit of augmented reality photo spots, which is pretty awesome. I'm really curious when I get to head back over to Florida possibly trying that out for a day. I'm really curious to see how many AR photo spots there are and how well they work. So you do have those two options. There is a third option, which we don't have a lot of information about, but that is the lightning lanes by themselves. Certain attractions that will not be included in the Genie Plus ride selects you will be able to buy their own individual quick cues, lightning lane, head to the ride experiences. That made sense. You know what I mean? Anyways, we don't know anything more than you'll be able to pick up to two and it'll be dependent on the date, the park, and the ride to how much those cost. We will be getting more information near launch. Unfortunately, I have not found a launch date yet. I'm really looking forward to launch day because <laughs> I'm really excited to see how these features all play out and how they're going to interact with the new Magic Key Portal that'll also be coming to the Disney Land Resort app. So I'm going to be interested. And also a new little update to the Disability Access Server uh, service, as a lot of us know it as DOS. There will be an opportunity to be able to sign up for DOS before your trip and you will be able to make some selections for passes on your app. They, of course, still will have the in-person selection, the in-person cast members that we can go talk to, but a little bit more accessible and a little easier because you'll be able to do some things from your app, which sounds super awesome. So what do you guys think? I know I really do miss my MassPass 
And I loved the fact that, yes, you could buy it from day to day, but I could also just add it to my pass and it was there. We were done. We called it a day. I am hoping that in the future, Disneyland does offer the Genie Plus and Lightning Lanes as an upgrade for our Magic Keys. I think that'd be super awesome. I love taking photos. I love photo spots. And I think that was one of my favorite things about the Max Fast when we had it. And that's something that awesome that Genie Plus is bringing back. And I won't lie, I, I did love grabbing Fast Passes and Max Passes for rides. Made it a little more fun. But what do you guys think about the new system? I am happy to say that not every ride you have to pay to get on and that there is an overall. What do you think? Let me know. Now jumping over to the, well, same but opposite coast. Going over to Port Canaveral, where the Disney Dream has been sailing out of for the last two weeks. We've seen a lot of updates and a lot of great YouTubers posting about everything going on. Going over the Disney Cruise Line website, there have been several changes. So let's talk about a few of them. So of course, the Disney Fantasy was supposed to be joining her sister down in Port Canaveral starting September 4th. Unfortunately, the September 4th cruise has been canceled and refunds and cruise credits are going out to those of the, those cruisers that had those books. And it, the Fantasy will be setting sail September 11th, but there is a catch. The starting sailings on the Fantasy were booked as seven day cruises, seven night cruises, I apologize. As of right now, due to the CDC and the guidelines, there are no seven-day cruises allowed to sail out of America. So, Disney has changed it up a little bit. They are now going down to four night cruises. So, anybody booked on the seven night cruises are being pushed to the four night cruises with, of course, a few extra amenities, but they will all still be departing on their original sailing date. These are good for the sailing dates of September 11th to October 2nd. Now, any of them, any cruisers that got pushed down to the four night sailings are going to be refunded. Any extra cruise fare, port fees, and taxes, all that will be refunded, plus $400 onboard credit per stateroom and a 25% off your next cruise as long as the cruise is before September 30th of 2022. Now, some interesting things I find about this. This cruise set sail September 11th, and of course, anybody already booked will be moved down. But anybody else that wants to book will not be allowed to book until August 25th, which gives you just under three weeks to book if there's any available openings, which is really interesting. I'm not 100% sure how well that's gonna go for Disney, and of course, any guests that don't want to be moved down to the four night cruises are going to be offered a 100% refund. The Disney Fantasy does hope to go back to seven day cruising starting in October if they're allowed to. Now, if you guys have seen my original two Disney Cruise updates of things that were going to change, I have some new updates. Yes, things are changing. I'm really happy that things are moving forward with cruises going out and coming back. Now, to clarify a couple things, especially for embarkation day. Before you get to the port, you will need to fill out a pre-trip health questionnaire. Everybody has to do this. Make sure you get it done before your cruise. Then you'll need to bring that, plus yourself and your port arrival time information all to the terminal. Now, as we know, fully vaccinated guests are not required to test as long as they have proof of their vaccination submitted through image diagnostics before their cruise. That being said, if you are fully vaccinated but were out of the United States five days prior to your cruise, you will be required to test in port, but Disney will be doing this free of charge for those vaccinated just to make sure you're safe and everybody else is safe for their cruise. And, of course, if anybody in your traveling party or yourself are feeling symptoms of COVID or you have a fear of exposure, make sure you call Disney before your cruise. 
They can get everything sorted out, maybe change your reservation up, but Disney will take care of you. The thing I am most excited about that I was sad to read when I originally filmed my two videos, but I'm happy to report, Ping Pong and the Basketball are still temporarily on pause, but Shuffleboard is back. I'm so excited. I'm not gonna win, I already know it, but I'm excited. Yes, again, baby steps. That's all it is, just baby steps. Everything will come back, it'll all be back normal. So, are you guys excited to cruise? I know I am. Thank you so much for joining me today for our new information about the Genie, Genie Plus, and Lightning Lane services and the new cruise news that came to Disney. So what do you guys think? Do you have any opinions about MaxPass versus the Genie Plus services? I know I do. But let me know down in the comments below. If you guys have any other questions, go ahead, let me know. I'll get back to you guys as soon as I possibly can. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and until next time, guys, bye!